On the pages of American folklore, a legion of mighty men have left the symbols of their greatness. There was Paul Bunyan's axe, John Henry's hammer, Davy Crockett's rifle. And then, quite unexpectedly, one comes upon a tin pot hat, a bag of apple seed, and a holy book. And strangely enough, these are the symbols of one of the mightiest men of all, John Chapman, a real-life pioneer. With the passing years, however, reality has given way to legend. Until today, we know this remarkable man simply as Johnny Appleseed. This is his story told by an old settler who knew Johnny well. Listen. Well, sir, every time I see an apple blossom sky, I think of Johnny Appleseed. Because, of course, them clouds up thar, they ain't really clouds at all. No, sir. Why, shucks, there wouldn't be no apple blossom sky if it weren't for the fact that Johnny... But now, hold on here. Guess I better start back to the beginning. And that's when Johnny lived on a farm near Pittsburgh town. The year was 186, or maybe there around. Now, just to look at him, you'd say Johnny Appleseed never would make a pioneer. He was such a sawed-off, scrawny little fella. Of course, that didn't faze Johnny none. Shucks, he had his apple trees and the morning sun and the evening breeze. The Lord is good to me. And so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and rain and an apple seed. Yes, he's been good to me. I owe the Lord so much for everything I see. I'm certain if it weren't for him, there'd be no apples on this limb. He's been good to me. Oh, here am I, neath the blue, blue sky, a doing as I please, singing with my feathered friends, falling with the bees. I wake up every day as happy as can be, because I know that with his care, my apple trees, they will still be there. Oh, the Lord is good to me. Working, singing, carefree and gay. That's how Johnny spent each day, attending to his apple trees. But lately, little Johnny here would feel a stirring in the air, a rumbling, rolling underbeat of restless men and restless feet. Folks going west to build this nation sure made picking apples look like a plum useless occupation. Well, sir, that's when a miracle happened. Well, what's holding you, Johnny? Says a voice. Go on. Go on out west if that's your choice. Well, sir, it was an angel. <laughs> Johnny's own private guardian angel. Might look mighty queersome to you and me, but you know, that's just the way John figured he'd be. Well, speak up, boy. Don't stand there gawking. Unlock your jaw and get to talking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why don't I go west? Because I ain't got the muscle or the breath of chest. 
How far? It's the strong men who survive, and I'm about the puniest fella alive. Shame to you, Johnny. You got faith and courage and a level head. But shucks. You see, sir, all I know is apple trees. And what's wrong with apples, if you please? Ain't they about the finest fruit in all the land? Why, why, shoot, man. They take the cake. Just think, Johnny, of all the things that apples make. There's uh, apple pickles. Oh, so tasty apple tarts and apple pasty apple dumplings, not to mention apple sass. Yes, and there's apple fritters, light as this land for folks to wet their whistle, tangy and apple cider in the Stew them, fry them, boil them, bake them. Apple pie and apple cake. Yep, you can cook them any way. Oh, there's apple this and apple that. The recipes that fill your hat. Why, I could carry on like this all day. So, pack your stuff and get a going. Get them apple trees a growing. There's a lot of work out there to do. There's a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. You see, sir, I ain't got the traps, ain't got the gear, or none of the things I'll need out there. You ain't got the... Get gummit, boy, I'm ashamed of you. You got the stuff to see you through. Why, you got all the seeds you're needing, and for pretty darn good breeding. There ain't nothing finer than your bow. Here's a mighty handy bonnet. <laughs> Even got a handle on it. Turn it upside down and you can cook. So come on, son, and get a go and get them apple trees a growing. There's a lot of work out there to do. Oh, there's a lot of work to do. Well, sir, that's how it all began. That's how Johnny, all alone, set out to meet the great unknown. It was a mighty big and fearsome place for a man to face.